Hey guys, it's me, Christy Lee, and I just finished and submitted my online interview for Shipped, which I told you guys about in a video two days ago, I think. Um, it was a one-way interview, so basically, they use this company called HireVue, and you download the app, and, excuse me, they give you a code to input an interview code, and once uh, you get logged on and everything, um, Shipped has a set of interview questions already installed into the program that they ask you. Um, and I think 11 out of the 14 questions were multiple choice and they were questions like uh, the customer asked for a certain brand of a certain type of shredded cheese and the store is out. So what would be the best substitute for what they're asking for? Or pick a group of three items that all contain apples. So you kind of have to have a little bit of knowledge. Um, luckily, I really like apples and I like a certain type of apples, so that was easy for me. Uh, another question was like, uh, the lines are really long at the store. You know you're not going to make it by your uh, designated time. Um, what is the best way to approach the situation? How do you text the customer and tell them? that you're not gonna be on time, things like that. And then the last three or four questions were video based where I had to give a um, video response to the questions. Um, and at first I was really, really nervous about that, but then I told myself, just imagine that you're talking to the camera the same way you would talk to your viewers if you were doing a vlog video. So that actually helped me out a lot. And it was supposed to take 15 minutes to do the interview, it took me, less than 10 I would say about eight minutes to complete the interview and it's done it's out of the way I'm so proud of myself for doing that and now I just have to wait and see if they liked me or not even if they didn't great practice um, <laughs> and I wish all interviews were like that to be honest with you if all interviews were like that I would have no problem applying for jobs um, so yeah that was pretty cool if you guys were interested in in uh, how that works <laughs> so I'll let you guys know uh, what happens with that obviously and then if I do get accepted or hired or whatever um, and I start doing uh, some of these deliveries um, then I will take you guys along with me and it'll be like the whole new vlog series where you guys get to come along with me on my job so that'll be cool. Um, another thing I wanted to tell you guys about, uh, I had mentioned, I think before that I was thinking about trying a post office box. Um, I've had a couple of you ask me if I had a post office box, if you could send me something, you want to send me a letter. Um, and I think that I found a, a cheap way of doing that. I think the, the, um, the post office, um, United States postal office offers a I think it's it's either eleven dollars for three months or eleven dollars a month for three months for a small size the smallest size that they have which would be basically for letters and I don't think you can get packages in there but I was thinking about go ahead going ahead and renting one uh, for the three month period and you guys can I know that some of you um, like like uh, sharing your stories and your experiences with me, and um, I know that doing it in the comment section sometimes isn't you know you maybe you don't want everyone reading what you have to say. Um, you can always message me through um, YouTube or Facebook or however you want to do it, but I know that sometimes people you know prefer to write letters. I still enjoy writing letters. So I was thinking of giving it a try if you guys are interested. Um, so you can, you know, write me if you want and, you know, we can be like pen pals. I've always wanted a pen pal. Um, also, there are a, a number of you who have been extremely loyal ever since I started my YouTube account. And some of you may not have come until later. But there are a, a number of you who watch almost everything that I post and you comment on almost everything. Um, you're so super supportive of me and you're just such a positive, <clears throat> positive part of my life that I would like to be able to thank you in a more personal way. So I was thinking maybe if you're comfortable with it, you could give me your mailing address. Um, I will give you my 
email for my YouTube account. And if you're comfortable with it, you can give me your personal mailing address. And I would like to send you maybe a letter or a card or something um, to just show you my thanks and to kind of let you know how Im important you are to me. So I think you pretty much know who you are. Um, and if you're comfortable with that, uh, I would really like to do that. So my, the email address for my YouTube account is at it's me, Christy Lee at gmail.com. So like I said, if you're comfortable with that and you'd be open to receiving something from me, if you can email me your address and I would love to send something out to you. Um, what else? Mm, I'm so, I'm so excited right now. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, sorry. Had to get that out. Eric was talking about us doing some coin roll hunting this afternoon. I'm excited about that. Um, I know there was other things. Oh, unboxings. I have unboxings for you. Hold on. <laughs> All right. So we have two boxes here. I was going to wait for the Amazon order, but I think it's going to be another two weeks before that gets here. So what we're going to do is open up my pinch me box and my sample source box and see what we got. Um, we were going to do a video about the our um, reactions to the presidential election. Um, I'm, I'm surprised that I haven't heard more about this. I really thought that everyone online, especially on YouTube, would be making videos about the results of this election. But I haven't seen much, and that really surprises me. I honestly can't believe that Donald Trump won this election. I really can't. I thought it was a joke when Eric told me. I thought maybe people thought it was a, it was funny. They were going to see how far he could actually get in the election. But when it came down to the wire, even though Hillary wasn't a perfect person, I thought honestly that people were going to actually choose her when it came down to it. So I am very, very surprised that Donald Trump actually won. I'm also very interested to see how he runs the country. I'm going to be honest. I don't like him. I don't like a lot of how the media has portrayed him. I don't know him personally, obviously. But what I have seen about him, I don't agree with a lot of the things that he has said and done and the way he sees the world. But it's obviously clear that he's a very good businessman. And I do believe that there is a lot of business aspects to running a country. I mean, I don't think it's the way it was supposed to be, but it kind of is now. America is like a company, okay? So maybe he'll do really good with getting us back on track as, fine, as, as far as financial and economical and stuff like that. Maybe he'll do really good. Um, hopefully he doesn't do too much damage, but... The decision has been made. He's our president. So now it's just a um, wait and see game, I guess. It's just how it's going to be. All right. So the first thing in my pinch me box is, I don't know how to say that. I've seen the word many times. It's a moisturizing cream for very dry, sensitive skin. So let's open it up and see if I like the smell. It's, a, it's not a bad smell. It's a very soft smell. It's a nice creamy texture, obviously. It's moisturizer. <laughs> and my hands are actually really dry right now, so I'm, it's kind of lightweight. It's soft. Not bad. All right, it's a little greasy. A little greasy. We'll see how it feels. It's 
throughout the rest of the video. All right. Next product. Scotch Bright dis dish cloth. Scrubbing dish cloth. So this has different textures. On one side, you've got the kind of soft, but it's still got a textured feel like a washcloth. On the other side, you've got these little like rubbery things here that are a little rougher for like scrubbing, I guess, pans and things like that. And this is good actually because I don't have a sponge right now. Um, and I don't, I don't really like using just regular washcloths. They don't seem to work as well. So this, this will be good. I'm going to try this out. All right. Next is from the same company as the moisturizer. And it is Gentle Skin Cleanser. So, I don't know if this is like facial, oh, face and body for all skin types. Smells almost just like the moisturizer. So, that's what that looks like. And I need some good facial cleanser, so we'll try that out. All right, what is this? This is by Carbona, never heard of them. Color Grabber with Microfiber. Ultra absorbent sheets grab loose dyes in the wash. So I guess you put these in when you're washing your clothes and it absorbs the dye so that your white clothes don't turn pink uh, and stuff like that. <laughs> Which I don't think I've ever experienced Maybe once, maybe one time. Um, it's so funny when you have a camera set up and people see you and they tend to think that you're recording them. <clears throat> so there's eight sheets in here. We'll give that a shot. All right, so that's pretty cool. I'm most excited, I think, about the dish cloth. All right, and here is, I just realized I haven't eaten my breakfast sandwich yet. I've been here for like two hours already and I haven't eaten yet. All right. One of the things in here I believe is this pumpkin flaxseed mix. And it's so good. I've had it before and I fed some to the chicken babies. But it's really good. I really liked it myself. All right. So the first item is Bona Disposable Dusting Cloth. And I don't have one of the sticks that you're supposed to put it on. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to use that. But alright. Here is the, oh it's a different one. It's Sunrise Crunchy Vanilla. And it's like a cereal. But I ate it dry. The other one is by Nature's Path. I ate it dry, and it was really, really good as a snack. Oh. Okay, yeah. Here's the pumpkin flax with granola. This is so good. So good. It's sweet. Like, it is a cereal. You put milk in it. Soy milk, almond milk, whatever kind of milk you use, regular milk. But I ate this dry as a snack. And it was so good. It's a little sweet. It's perfect. And that's all came. That's all that came in this box. Cool. All right. I always feel like Austin Powers for some reason when I do my automatic chair thing. I lift my feet up and just ride it, and I feel like Austin Powers for I don't know why. What I do. Okay, so I ended up working almost all day yesterday. I did start a video vlog where I was talking about the election, but I ended up working and I didn't have, we got off late. We worked uh, 10, 11 hours yesterday, so I didn't get to finish the vlog <clears throat> and it was already dark when we got home. So I just took a shower and laid down and watched Supernatural, which is getting really, really good by the way. Um, I would like to get the next season. I think the last season that we have is season 10. I think they have a couple more. Um, 
and I'd really like to see those. And, um, what else? I know that there was more that I wanted to tell you guys about. But I can't ever remember once I get on. I've been talking to my sister for the last couple days. I've been trying to convince her to start a YouTube channel. Um, I explained to her how awesome you guys have been. How therapeutic having this channel has been for me. And I've talked about her before. <clears throat> She's going through a lot. She's been going through a lot for the last couple years. Um, she's definitely dealing with depression. She lost her ability to drive, to work. <clears throat> Sorry, I know that's really annoying. I hate when people cough. <clears throat> um, and I just think that it would be really good for her to start a channel. To just have an, an outlet, you know. And uh, hopefully if she does, she told me she'd give it a try. She's really nervous, you know. She said she's shy. She wouldn't know what to do. But uh, I told her she'd, she'd get used to it eventually. <clears throat> So hopefully if she does start a channel, maybe you guys will help me in supporting her and, uh, you know, welcome her aboard. Um, she's my little sister, but she's, <laughs> she's my little, she's my big little sister, I guess I could say. She was always the protective sister, sticking up for me, beating boys up for me. <laughs> she never liked any of my boyfriends ever. Well, you know, I think two of them eventually she liked but um anyway so yeah I hope that she starts a channel and um Thanksgiving is coming I'm super excited about that um Eric should be getting his Christmas bonus from work this year hopefully last year I think he got a 250 bonus and this year he's supposed to get a $500 bonus and that will be awesome because we need to start doing Christmas shopping. We've got six kids to shop for and uh, yeah, it'd be nice to be able to do a good Christmas this year. Um, I know there was something else. I've been waiting to tell you guys about the post office box thing. Excuse me. And I know that there was something else I was going to tell you guys. I've been get, trying to get Eric to start his YouTube channel back up a couple of years, maybe two, three, four years before he and I met. He had started a YouTube channel where he was basically just showing um, these sculpted figures, custom sculpted figures that he was doing and then selling them on eBay. He did a couple skits also um, and he used to do some gameplay. And uh, I keep telling him that he should start a YouTube channel as well because he's he's funny and he's really good at talking and I just think that it would be a good hobby for him. Um, and I don't know. I just think everybody should have a YouTube channel. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just do. Um, but yeah, I, I think that he should start one. Oh, I was going to tell you guys that I found a way to do... Um, videos where I record my screen, um, like for gameplay and stuff like that. But someone asked me to do kind of a tutorial video of how to get registered with Amazon Mechanical Turk working from home like that. So I found and downloaded an app that's going to allow me to walk you guys through the process of getting signed up and registered with any of these apps that I've told you about. If you're interested, if there's anything that you can think of right now that you would like me to do that kind of video for, <clears throat> kind of where you can see what I'm doing on my screen and I can walk you through like a tutorial of how to get set up or whatever. Um, I'm kind of excited to use it. I've been trying to figure out like is there a game I can download to just practice and upload a video and see how it goes. And I think I'm going to do that today. Uh, just find a game that I really enjoy playing and just do like a gameplay type video. Um, I know Retro Mickey, you do gameplay type videos. Um... I think that was the other thing I was waiting to tell you guys about. So if you have any requests, if you want any help with anything like that, let me know. And I will try to get that video for you. Um, I think that's pretty much it for right now. If I think of anything else, I'll come back on. And until then, I love you. <laughs> Bye.